hey how is going everyone on this video I'd like to show you how to use your smartphone as a, an external webcam or just you know, as a camera and how to stream all the information wireless to your PC to your computer to do so I'm going to show you a software called DroidCam which is available on Android and also on Linux as a client okay so that then your smartphone it's recon it's recognized as a device all right to do so I'm screencasting my phone in here okay through this IP everything you have to do on Android actually I think that it works also on iOS but I have no idea which kind of software I iOS has anyway on Android just go on the Play Store look for droid cam here and install the the free version one you can also buy this if you want some pro uh, things okay but anyway I'm not gonna spend four euros so just droid cam wireless webcam install it and then open as soon as you open it it is going to stream okay it's really there, there are not so many options here it just streams out of the box okay and this is the the software on Android on Linux everything you have to do is on Arch Linux I'm, I'm using Arch Linux you can install using either uh, make package yaourt pack out whatever it is a software which is in the hour so the Arch user repository which is called droid droid cam All right, I already installed it, so I'm not gonna reinstall it again. So install it. It's actually quite easy also in, uh, on every distribution. I will leave a link in the description to the official DreadCam website where you can check step-by-step -step the installation. Okay, after you install it, just run it. So DreadCam. And at this point, if you got an error here, like no device found, something like that, you just reboot your system and then you will be able to to find the device and then here you want to put all the information all the numbers that you the correspective numbers here and then you want to press connect okay as you can see here now the stream started okay I'm streaming right now that's me what's up and right now you can uh, add for example this device to OBS or just open a webcam viewer such as Cheese which I have not installed because I need to install also the GNOME desktop which I don't need but you can also use VLC or mPlayer I'm going to show you mPlayer if you, if you use the mPlayer remember to use the or not remember do everything with the terminal because then you will need to press ctrl C I'm going to show you now and player then you can select TV and that's it everything is automatic it selects the only uh, device that it's connected right now okay should be working actually I'm going to there it is okay here we are and here you have your webcam by the way with the command line you can also rotate you can also add an option to take the screenshot with the S button you can also use as you can see now I pressed close here but it doesn't close so you need to press ctrl C here so do everything with the terminal if you're using uh, and player I use in VLC also I'm using the C VLC so without the interface and I want to go to for video for Linux 2 and there it is by the way if you have other uh, inputs you just give the right uh, device uh, path so that it opens the correct one, not the wrong one. 
as you can see here it works pretty nice and here you can close just normally Control and Q and the device is actually mounted here LS dev on video 0 this is the path where the device is video 0 so if you have other video maybe you have some other smartphone or whatever you will find them on video 0, video 1, video 2 etc ok right now I'm going to show you on OBS I'm going to open another one and to add it you just need to add a video capture device also here V4L2 which stands for video for Linux 2 and there it is you can select some other option here resolution frame rates etc and then you have your webcam wireless without any USB uh, attached to here or attached there you know everything wireless you can make it bigger you can make it smaller and then you can record with your with, with your webcam all right the last thing I'm going to show you now I'm going to stop here I'm going to put my smartphone down and I want to close and I actually want to show you that you can uh, access with a browser as I'm doing here with my screencasting with my phone you just need to go to the right address uh, no it's not this one it's 47 47 and there it is okay so if you, if you just need to to see if it works on you just need to stream something easy you can just use the and this by the way works on every operation system on everything even on another smartphone I guess so you can uh, you can stream on another smartphone for example then you can toggle LED here you can zoom for example zoom out autofocus as you can see works pretty nice you can also increase the size I think full HD 1080p or 720p or if you have 4k or 2k whatever I think they are f f just in the Pro Edition. I'm not sure, but anyway, I can't access them. But definitely my phone has 1080 and 720p. So probably they are on the Pro Edition. Yeah, that's it. The last thing, if you're going to use uh, without the client, okay, so you are not using as a device, but you're, you're just... Uh, using through an IP I'm going to show you another software which is called IP webcam which in my opinion is better you can also switch between the front cam and rear cam so I'll do another video about it anyway as you can see you don't need a webcam you probably have already your uh, smartphone so just use it I mean why not that's it I'll see you on the next video and bye bye